What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian Let's Play. In the previous episode we 100%ed the Ottomans, which feels so good. And uh, considering I can't do any alliance breaking with my prestige that I wish I could do, uh, let's release Serbia as a 10 development province here. And he's going to be a member of the Empire. But also hoping, yeah, he doesn't have a militarist ruler for once. So uh, we do own a lot of his territory, which re hurts relations. But I think we can get up to 200 relations. And uh, let's check if we can add him as a free city to the empire. And there was one other we could do here in Armenia. However, because if we have a look here... Um, That is Europe, as you can see, continent Europe, continent Asia. So if we release, release Armenia here, he will be in Europe as a member of the empire. Uh, but we got to core it up first. Uh, this episode, we're going to be going for Mali and perhaps even... Yeah, I'll choose this up with Lithuania. We could go for Lithuania as well. At this stage, we're literally waiting for these provinces to be cored up. Um, but let us deal with these Moroccan separatists, which are a bit of a problem. They're probably progressing pretty hard here. So let's go take them out ASAP. And we're losing a little bit of money, unfortunately. Ah, which is irritating. This doesn't help. I think it's probably worth spending 5 prestige there to get rid of that 10% army maintenance. That was costing me almost 5 ducats a month. So, there we go. These Moroccans are probably progressing, yep, towards revolting, but that's going to be just fine as we come over here and clean them up. And we lost another stability, damn it. Uh, let's throw down a diplomat in the Pope, man. <sighs> so I'm going to boost up to two stability. Uh, converting land, converting land with our, our missionaries is going to uh, help us with that, those stability issues. But it's a shame. What the hell? Does Morocco have core all the way down there? Why are you walking all the way down there, Morocco? You damn guy. Yeah, we're getting poor. It's a shame. Because we're probably going to have to take out a couple loans to uh, buy the manufactories. But I think that uh, taking over Mali is going to be a fairly good economic move. Wow. These guys are just sticking together. Our other army arrives. Let's bring them down. Which uh, is appropriately moving down towards where our next war is going to be fought. And I think these two stacks combined, we do out-tech Mali by two. Mali is actually doing fairly well in terms of the institutes, guys, because our presence, you know. Oh, look at that. Mali has a manufactory. Cool. I'll try to take that as well if we can. Uh, I was going to say that the two stacks combined is actually enough to take him out, because last time when I looked at him, he does have a, um, a fair amount of units. Yep, 57,000, but our two stacks combined is more than that, and we out-tech him, etc., so we're going to be okay. We're going to be just fine. France looks like he's kind of poised to smash Castile, which is interesting. And I am trying to use my, mer what are they called, diplomats to, uh, I was about to say merchants, to um, just generally increase with people who hate us. These are heretics inside the empire, as we are going to be acquiring, trying to acquire their vote. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing, Morocco? Are you for real? This guy's wasting my time like crazy. Screw it. Let's let's automatically transfer these guys over so that they can siege up these. Because I don't want to walk all the way back up. 
We've got wars to go to, man. I'd like to have already be ready to peace out once this uh, core is done, ideally, you know? And uh, we're not even going to be close at this rate. Gotta run all the way down here. Ah, uh, this guy just flipped to heretic as well. Why are you guys doing that, man? Centers of Reformation are not even around. They must have, like, a preference for a particular re religion, you know? Um, yeah, just general relations. With ye old diplomat. This guy's just decided to, like, walk around the whole world, you know, these Moroccan separatists. They're just like, yeah, the whole world's ours. West Africa's ours, the whole world. Don't worry about it. I'm wondering if Mali has forts which are actually not maintained that we can jump onto. Uh, I just saw... I thought I saw a fort. It was probably my own one, wasn't it? Alright. I was also trying to uh, add Serbia as a free city. Let me not forget. Looking pretty good. Let's influence them. I think we can do it while we're at war. Cool. It looks like we might be able to do that. Keep in mind my Diplo rep is down by two. Because... Uh, Of our overextension. Alright, I think the move is going to be to take Kong out as fast as possible. And he seems to be maintaining his forts, but they are actually... Very low level forts. Level 1, his capital is level 1. His other ones are level 2. Sweet. Hopefully we can make short work of Mali here. But one other thing I'm interested in is if we can take the manufactory here. Something like that. And then take the coastline. Interested in the overextension. Okay, only 27 overextension. Nice. Just occurred to me that it's not just the coast. Yeah. Cool. Such cheap core uh, overextension. Nice, man. So we actually want a 100% Mali by the looks of things. And I should keep my, my units together, my stacks together if possible, because... We might need them both combined. If he groups everything up. I'm worried that our admin's going to cap out. It's not the end of the world if it does. We can tick up for negative 10. But I prefer to keep spending it. And then accept manufactories. And then buy the tick. Alrighty. Looks like we're actually going to be able to have another free city of Serbia, which is pretty cool. I was getting pretty doubtful that we'd ever be able to add one at that rate. Should we pay a loan? We're back down to six loans. Cool. Siege down Mali. If we can just take the odd fort like that, gives us really good access in Gene, really good access to hunt down his troops, you know, because we're suffering from the kind of similar situations as we were with the Ottomans, where I want to attack his troops, but I can't actually get access to his lands. It's really awkward if he just kites me around. 
And I'm about to boost stability with our Papal Influence back up to two. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. <laughs> ah, let's do one at a time though. It's my own fault. I was meaning to actually use those soldiers to siege down the uh, Moroccan provinces and swing back, but we're going to be okay. There's that sweet, sweet war score. In order to 100% Mali, though, we're going to have... Whoa, the stack white, the dream. Great. All right, let's go take... One stack to fight, one stack to siege. Wait, go for Timbuktu. I'm going to fight these guys all the way to Timbuktu. Cool. Now, I doubt we'll stack wipe that stack, but I don't want to accumulate everything when we could be sieging. Um, believe it or not, stack wiping is good, obviously, but you actually, if he retreats and he's wounded, we can uh, just as easily defeat him in another battle or defeat his units that he's reinforcing. Not always the... Nice, we caught him out. For the Deuce Vault, the Deus Vault, people don't like it when I say Deuce Vault, so I'll try to stop. Um... Yeah, if he retreats up, we just smash him again, his little units, hopefully. And be just as good, if not even better, if I have the bloody access, that is. Making some money that we've caught, now that we've caught up our lands. So that's good as well. I'm surprised how cheap these provinces are in terms of overextension, but I ain't complaining. Let's try to max our relations with Prussia, and I am going to actually influence Prussia, which I'm, I'm kind of nervous to see just how expensive that is. To influence them. I can't convert that Armenian province while it's being besieged by rebels. So that's depressing. Nice. Let's take some money here. And uh, I think I can afford to build three universities. Question is, where do I want to build them? Probably in my capital... Uh, let's do one in Constantinople. Where else is a province that I guess uh, we, we're going to get capped out on buildings? A center of trade is, is usually good because you want to build the trading buildings there. Uh, maybe, maybe Venice. No, Venice we're going to have control eventually when no other nations exist. Uh, where where should I build a university? Considering I can't afford to build them like crazy. There, Naples. Let's build one in Naples. Alright, we just spent a lot of money. And we need our money, you know. For accepting the manufacturers. But that's what money's for, is to be spent. We're not, comp we're, you know, not exactly rich right now. But at the same time, we're not completely broke like we have been. And uh, there becomes a point where you, you're going to want to spend your money, in my opinion, to, to start getting some splendor faster. Because every month that goes by that we don't have this 5 admin efficiency is really breaking my heart. And uh, it's my own fault for not really knowing about the current meta, the current game. And uh, I would have, like, I just don't know this stuff, guys. What is required to gain splendor because I don't actually, I have, don't have much experience playing in this uh, updated version of the game. I spent a long time playing in the old version, if you recall, because of the um, last series that I was doing. So I am just uh, a humble 
A humble noob, some would say. A humble budget noob. Uh, but it, make, it will make it all the more sweet. Sweet. If we uh, do do the one tag. And uh, getting close, that was pretty efficient. War with Mali. Looks like we're perhaps going to be able to piece him out before we uh, get capped here on admin. Got to keep making use of these diplomats though, man. I guess our relations are maxed with Lubick, yeah. He hates us as well because of all the enforcing religion we did. Enforcing all kinds of religion on fools. And I guess we're going to have to influence Lubeck as well if we want to. Now, those provinces will flip back. Some of them will. And uh, I think the Moroccan... No, I'm wrong. Alrighty. All we need is uh, just a couple units there to stop the Moroccan progression. But let us go and deal with the other rebels that are ravaging our lands. That are revolting. Revolting Rebolas. Yeah, we're just about there with Mali. Nice. Nice. Really, really hoping that we uh, have the... Trade Duder. I always forget with these guys. The... Um, what are they called? There's a way to, like, add and remove everything, but I, I don't have enough experience playing as them. Because it's easy to just remove everything with the button and then convert it all and then add everything. Uh, but I forget. Oh, there's war inside the Empire now, and we just have, what, 15 to go. It's not very appropriate, but 15, I'll tell you what, that's not very much. Hey, Scandinavia, Swedish Scandinavia. Oh, I could pee you him. Oh, I can't though, guys. I really want to, but I can't. We have to pray that we have another opportunity. I can't, guys. Can I? Maybe I can. I think I have to. I think I can, with, with desire, actually. I think I can, and I think I will, and I think I have to, guys. So next episode, lol. Uh, we're going to be PUing Scandinavia, guys. <sighs> it's it's like got to be done. He's defending Scotland against the Great Britain, so it's as good a time as ever to go in against him. Although, I don't think he will be too much trouble for us if we can accumulate everything. Um... What am I looking for? S Scandinavia. Oh, it's the other way around. Okay. He's got 64,000 troops maximum. Now, they will be stronger than us, but we outweigh him so much, and that's not including Russia. So, uh, we, sh we should be able to beat him. Um, yeah, I, I guess let's make sure that we're going through the motions, because our emissaries do take some time to send, so... Yeah, humbly, uh, humbly request a royal marriage from you, Scandinavia. The Swedish Scandinavia as well. Could not be better. Swedish traditions. Beautiful. Uh, so we really want to get out of this war. Claim his throne. Guys, I have to do it. Uh, it's not an appropriate time, really. But I have to do it. Don't you guys agree? We have to integrate him before the end of the game if we want a one tag. Uh, and it takes 50 years. So we might not have the opportunity to do it. Okay, 11th of June. Um, okay, nice. That's satisfying. Big chunk of land there. Hungarian Africa looking swag.
and we can we can revoke guys i mean we should just be content that we finally got there you know unfortunately 17 guys won't pass it but that's with our overextension and that's with not complete not 100 uh imperial authority so we might not be able to get every member of the empire but you know we did what we could and uh hopefully we'll get a boatload if we can't get them all Whew. that was a nice satisfying war and yeah like i said hoping that now that we own bloody well everything um that we get a uh merchant from this with some time might have to call stuff up but also uh send a merchant here to to transfer which should increase our power but once we convert it up i can add it to the trading company in the meantime let's claim your th we need more prestige than he does god dang it I forgot uh oh that is not good this is also costing a diplo one a month which is really inappropriate That's really inappropriate. I think we're just going to have to be satisfied with that for now. Um, he's losing some. We're gaining a lot yearly. So in one year we could claim. But I'm really worried that he'd get a error in a year's time. Uh, is there any way to gain prestige? Not really that I know of. I don't think battles with rebels give prestige could take a quick war against like the uh, lithuania but how quick could that be looks like prussia bohemia and lebec would help us in a war against them guys so my goodness it would be very easy we wouldn't have to fully commit like i could have some guys around to uh deal with rebels Oh my goodness, that's stressing me out. There probably is a way to get prestige, but I, I can't think at the you know moment. Converting? I think converting is supposed to give you some prestige, isn't it? Because in the Age of Reformation, it looks like it didn't, though. In the Age of Reformation, there's one that's like increases the amount of prestige that you get. Nope. Our next move is going to be attacking Lithuania. That feels bad, man. Well, I'll look at it this way. These guys are um, near in age. So in about 50 years... Yeah. We'll have another shot. That that does feel bad, man. Though, guys. That, that's really not cool. We might get unlucky and get stiffed and uh, actually not have the amount of time, even if we have the opportunity to PU him. Okay, I think I'm going to take spend my admin for negative 15. Because it's going to be a little while yet before we um, accept manufacturers. Uh, we should... I completely forgot to take the manufacturer there. Freaking idiot. Um, that's not the end of the world. It's still going to help spread into our land when it spawns. God damn idiot. Speaking of spreading, got some nice spreading there. And uh, yeah, it's spreading quite nicely into our country, which is good. So our next war is going to be against Lithuania. And our truce here should be pretty short because we only annulled his treaties. So our truce comes up in five years time. We'll fully annex Kong. This is another war that I should look at, eh? Yeah. Yeah, and that's Ivory Coast as well. Yes, indeedy. Gonna look for a big, like, some kind of crazy annexation there on that faction. Uh, but yeah, let's take these troops up to deal with Rebels and uh, Lithuania. Lithuania we can add to the Empire, of course. Speaking of adding to the Empire... Add provinces as we go. 
And we are getting really close to 100. Really, really close. And we are going to want to be at peace. So that we haven't finished a war and therefore we don't have overextension. In order to try past the revoke. Um, it's bloody well stressing me out, man. It's bloody well stressing me out, guys. I want as many boats as possible. <laughs> Like, if Bohemia doesn't vote for me, guys, I'm going to feel so bad. Great Britain still controls the Pappy. Seems to be taking forever. Oh, that's already added to the Empire. I see how it is. I see how it is. Well, that was a lot of hype that uh, kind of disappeared all of a sudden there, guys. Yeah, Portuguese Peru. God dang it. Whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> we could uh, go in against... He's a different religion. Cool. Let's uh, take a Brazil without actually pissing off the Pope too much by getting a nice CB against Norway. So if I make one colony, we can just take all of Norwegian Brazil with the Holy War CB. Uh, that's going to be my move next. Get another merchant up and running, hopefully with that. And I think if we transfer from... Take a guy in the Crimea here and transfer. Um, maybe that increases our trading company's influence. Yeah, I was going to say, there was a lot of hype there, at least for me. I did want to declare that war. I think very shortly... Yeah, you know what? Before the CB goes away, I'm going to declare this war. Because that will basically f just play itself out. Yes, it will. And I'm looking for, like, any old heretic that really doesn't uh, like us very much. Okay, I could tick up for negative 10, or we could just wait to try to accept. The Moroccans are close to accepting their demands. That's a non-issue. They've only got one province there. Delete some more of these forts. Destroy your castles, I say. We pretty much don't need any of these, to be honest. I'll keep the one in the hills, just for convenience. I'll keep the one there, but these can all be destroyed. North Africa's fine. We'll keep the one in the mountains. It's good. It's real good. Yeah. We're going to be fine with the Moroccans, right? Can you go away? You're making me nervous. I wonder how many provinces I have to add to the empire here. Because we're going to be bloody close to 100, especially if we add some of Lithuania here uh, shortly. I probably don't need to release any more princes at all. I just want to throw it out here, guys, also. This this guy spawned so quickly after me noticing that even if I did have the prestige, um, there's a possibility that I wouldn't have been able to claim his throne, which would have been that claim, and then our emissary return, and then declare the war before that guy spawned. So we actually got so hardcore stiffed that it, it doesn't make me that mad that we didn't have the prestige. Does that make any sense? Because I think it was actually so brutal that uh, it wouldn't have worked out either way. He, he, he spawned so quickly after me noticing it. 
And I have been checking this every now and then, you know. <sighs> it's whatever. Either way, this war is progressing very nicely with uh, Lithuania completely automatically. And I'm going to enforce religion here through war, which doesn't piss off Prussia. It's good. Taking some monies is always good. So I guess because this Lithuanian war is going to be so decisive, uh, we're going to be going for uh, this guy next episode. And uh, speaking of episode, this is uh, dragging on just a, a touch longer than I would like. But considering how well this Lithuanian war is going, I might, might let it play out. Um, so a little bit of a tease. I'm going to be optimistic that we still have time to PU and integrate Sweden. Of course, if I can't PU him before, you know, I've got to be safe, guys, because I need the time to integrate um, as well as, you know, you can begin integrating, but then I need the actual time to be able to integrate him as well. So if I, if I don't get the opportunity to PU about 65, 70 years before the end of the game, um, I'm going to just simply start annexing him uh, which of course will not be too difficult with the help of the empire peace inside the empire again nice yeah it won't be too difficult but we've got a lot to do we've really got a lot to do to one tag the world so i would really prefer to just take scandinavia out in one war and uh that will give us something to spend our diplo on as well because we're getting our diplotech's getting it's doing fine considering we're integrating russia and uh we're really getting there with russia you know once we integrate russia a few years later we're gonna feel like just give us something to spend our uh, diplo on game Make sure that these are actually under my control. And I've also got to keep in mind, we only have the CB on provinces that I border. So, uh, nice. So we dealt with the rebels. That's cool. And I might begin automatically transferring this guy. Back. God dang it, Russia broke the siege at the same time. That's fine. Hey, we've got access through the Ottomans. For some reason, cool. Let's just walk down. Uh, we're going to be going for that West African. West African? No, Congo. We're going to be going for the Congo. Which uh, I'm actually looking forward to. And my thoughts are, after we take this land from uh, Lithuania... Ah, we need that fort to finish before we can take the lands. Um, let's just do that. Cool. So he's going to be fully annexable next war. So we now have um, the, what is it, 19 provinces to be added, in my opinion. So we're going to wait for this to core up and uh, convert the provinces here. And by that time... We can add them all, and we're going to be at 100. So it's going to be the moment of truth next episode, guys, to see just how much we can revoke. And I hope you're looking forward to it, and pray for me, guys. Pray that we can revoke everything, because in a sense, it will not be worth it if we can't rev revoke Bohemia in particular. Look at him. That will make me feel so bad. But either way, I'm hyped. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.